So the 2025 is about to end. And if you're a full stack developer, so is everyone. If you can create a CRUD application using React and Node.js, so does everyone. I mean, being a full stack developer has been so common and everyone is walking with the same skill set. Because of this, one question arises. How can you differentiate yourself from your competitors who have the same skill set? To be employable in 2026 as a web developer, you have to have certain skills that most developers don't have. So in this video, I'm going to share five skills that every web developer should have in upcoming years to become a better developer and most importantly, stand out from the crowd. All right, let's start with the big one, AI augmented development. You've heard every random dude on Twitter shouting, AI will replace developers. No, AI isn't replacing developers. But developers who don't know how to use AI, they're in trouble because the game has changed. Writing code isn't the valuable part anymore. Knowing how to direct AI, critique it, debug it, and integrate it, that's the real skill. The AI augmented development means letting AI handle boilerplate code, summarizing code you didn't write, generating tests, explaining errors, and writing small features so you can focus on architecture. AI becomes your second brain, not your replacement. But that's only half of it. You also need the skill to spot when AI is confidently wrong. Because trust me, it will give you answers that look perfect and then break your production server at 3 a.m. Your job isn't disappearing, it's evolving. You should now be able to know when AI hallucinates. Know how to debug AI-generated code. Handle privacy, data, safety, the things AI won't magically get right. This is only possible if you have a strong programming foundation. AI can write code, but it can't understand your users, your business, your constraints, or your system context. Only you can. Writing everything manually in 2026 is like saying, I still walk everywhere because cars feel like cheating. No one cares. Use the tools. Move faster. Think smarter. AI isn't here to replace your skills. It's here to multiply them. All right, skill number two, system thinking and architecture. And honestly, this is the skill that separates coders from actual engineers. Writing code is the easy part. Making the whole system work together, that's the real job. Anyone can build a page, write an API, or make a database query. But can you explain how data flows through your entire application? That's system thinking. It means asking things like, should this be serverless or a long-running service? Where should we put caching? What happens when we get 100,000 users at once? Is this microservices situation? Or should we calm down and use a monolith? This stuff sounds complicated, but it's basically learning to look at your app from the top instead of staring at individual files. The best part is AI makes system thinkers even more powerful because AI can handle the boilerplate code and you get to focus on the architecture. The part machines can't do. So if you want to stand out in 2026, don't just learn how to write code. Learn how to design systems that will work in the real world. That's the skill companies really pay for. All right, skill number three, full stack fundamentals, but more than just CRUD apps. Because let's be honest, in 2026, everyone and their pet can build a CRUD app. AI can do that in one prompt. What actually makes you valuable is everything that comes after CRUD. I'm talking about things like database performance and optimization, file storage and handling uploads safely, designing clean APIs, using caching so your app doesn't end, handling background jobs and queues, managing different environments like dev, staging, and production. These are the parts of web development that don't show up in beginner tutorials, but they're exactly what real companies deal with every single day. The funny part is, AI can write individual parts of the system, but it can't connect all of it into a reliable, secure, scalable system. That's still your job. When you understand full stack fundamentals at this level, you stop being a React dev or a Node dev, you become someone who can take an idea and actually ship it. And in 2026, that's the difference between being just another developer and being the developer people can rely on. Skill number four, tooling and DevOps awareness. And don't worry, I'm not telling you to become a full-on DevOps engineer who speaks in YAML. In 2026, 
Being a great developer isn't just about writing features, as I told you already. It's about knowing how to ship them without everything blowing up. You need just enough DevOps to be dangerous. I'm talking about Docker Basics, deployment pipelines, so you stop manually deploying like it's 2012, monitoring tools like Sentry or Datadog, understanding logs and errors, Cloud Basics, how to deploy, scale, and not accidentally spend a million dollars. Knowing how to set up environments, dev, staging, and production. These are things companies expect modern developers to understand. AI can generate code, but it can't magically fix your broken deployments. It can't decide the right environment variables or debug a server crash. That's still human territory. So having little DevOps awareness makes you the developer who can not only build features, but actually deliver them safely. This is the thing that can make you stand out. And finally, skill number five, communication and product thinking. The most underrated skill, but honestly, the one that makes the biggest difference in 2026. Writing code is great. Deploying feature is great. But if you can't communicate your ideas, explain your decisions, or understand what the actual user needs, your technical skills are useless. Communication in tech isn't about fancy words. It's things like, Explaining your solution in simple terms. Writing clear messages and documentation. Asking the right questions. Sharing updates so your team isn't confused. Giving feedback without sounding like a robot. These are the skills that make you easy to work with, which matters way more than people think. And then there's product thinking, the ability to look at a feature and ask yourself, does this actually solve a user problem? Is this worth building? Is there a simpler version? How will we measure if this works? Because AI can generate 10 different versions of a feature, but it can't decide which feature makes sense for your product or your users. It doesn't understand priorities, budgets, trade-offs, or human behavior. That's where you come in. Developers who think like product builders move faster in their careers, make better decisions, and create features that actually matter. So yeah, in 2026, being a great developer isn't just about the code you write. It's about the problems you solve and how well you work with the people around you. All right, so those are the five skills I genuinely believe will matter in 2026 and beyond. Look, AI is moving fast. Tools are changing every month. But the developers who stay valuable aren't the ones who memorize the newest syntax. They're the ones who know how to think, how to architect, how to ship, how to work with humans, and most importantly, how to solve the problem. So if you found this valuable, Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what skill you think will matter most in 2026. I'll see you in the next one.